Woo! <coughs> Yo, excuse me, excuse me. Oh man, YouTube! YouTube, man, it's your boy Chez. I am back for a very, 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 very long time. I know you guys, I took a long vacation from YouTube. I didn't take vacation on trucking, but I took a long vacation in YouTube, that's for sure. But um, I'm gonna head out to Mechanic Falls, Maine. I'm on Maine right now. <clears throat> this is actually my first time being here in this state. It's nothing much to see here. It's kind of like a, like Vermont, that kind of vibe. You guys ever been to Vermont? It's kind of like that in Maine. But man, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, you guys. Uh, I know I've been MIA to everyone um i seriously just took off from youtube from my social media like my instagram i've just been dead right like i just been focusing on work and um just like you know family stuff that's about it i really just completely drop off youtube and uh not upload for <laughs> for a long time man and i'm sorry but Here's the first video once again. I think it's my first video this year because I know I took off after um, after Christmas, if I remember. It was after Christmas, yeah. I, I remember saying like Merry Christmas and all and after that I was gone, right? So I really apologize you guys, but um, I really just had to, I don't know. I was in that mental uh, mental stage where I just didn't, I was not feeling anything, you know, I was, I, I was like, didn't want to do anything, like, I didn't want to do videos, I didn't want to do any of that, but I was like, you know what, it's time, I will tell you guys what will happen at the end of this year, I got big news, and um, some of you guys might be disappointed, some of you guys might not even care but i think i have to tell you guys because uh i think it's something that i have to do and um i gotta you know do something all right let's just hop onto this interstate and i'll tell you guys about it all right so we're picking up a load here in what did i say but yeah here in maine it's about 40 miles and um, we are going to be delivering in uh, Georgia. I'm not sure if it's Atlanta, Georgia, but somewhere in Georgia, right? And man, the, the rates lately with a load board. Oh man, this trucking lately has been tough. Uh, that's all I got to say. And I'm pretty sure you guys heard that from like a different truck driver. Trucking right now, it's, it's a tough times, man where to the point like you gotta be smart with everything you know you gotta have your minimum uh rates or else you'll lose man you'll lose the game so uh, me and my boss you know we've been like trying to play with the uh load board and like fuel with the weights you know we really had to like pick our loads correctly but you know as we all know in trucking not everything you know comes to your to your favor there's sometimes there are good times but then by the time you get to the end of that good times there's bad times there's breakdowns and there there's so many things that happened this year and that's another factor that i just didn't want to take any videos um the truck been through a lot man <laughs> that's all i gotta say i'm sitting at 966,000 miles um currently on to this day and it's been tough that's all i gotta say i'll tell you guys more about it in details the more i go drive 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 but right now i'm trying to focus where exactly this uh pickup location is um usually you know my boss just tells me like the city but they don't tell me the actual address so just so i could head out there now so when they send me uh, they send me the actual details on the load then um 
I'll put it on the GPS, so. So the loads here in the main, not so great, like I said. Yeah, we got a pretty decent load. Um, I think it's not, like, I think it's okay. Like, yeah, sure, it's just enough for us to get out of here because um, it's kind of like a Florida type of situation, you know, because Maine is on very top, right? So you know where Maine is, very top corner of Northeast. So in a way, these brokers are playing games as well with the truckers where, oh, you're in Maine? Bet. You, you don't have no choice but to pick up our cheap load to, just to get out of here, right? And these loads are so heavy and you don't even want to look at it. You don't even want to like take it and just do it, you know? You don't want to do it. That's all. And um, same thing as Florida. So if you go all the way down there, it's only one way in, one way out. So it's like, okay, these truckers don't have a choice but to take our loads. They're going to make those rates so cheap that you have no choice but to take it. Unless you want to do a deadhead, then uh, that's up to you, you know. But yeah, sometimes it's worth just doing deadhead. Um, just depends, you know. And um, yeah, man, like <laughs> the load that we got is uh, paying 2700 uh, 2700 for, I believe it was 1200 miles going to Georgia. It's probably going to deliver Wednesday. So it's about a day and a half run. It's not too bad. Like I said, it's decent. But for me, in my books, um, the rates are just not keeping up, man. Especially with the fuel prices lately, it's it's a joke, bro. It's it's a joke. You really have to like do your math calculations before you even book a load nowadays. Before you can just book a load, and you, you know you know that's a good rate because. It's obviously a good rate because you need to do your math and everything. But nowadays, bro, you you gotta calculate fuel, you gotta calculate, you know, how much you're getting paid per day. You know, you gotta do all that because if you don't, you're gonna lose. I'm telling you. So man, like I said, I've been through a crazy, crazy times with this truck lately. This year actually. So the truck had a fully engine rebuilt that was a i say a month and a half ago i think they took about one month to be exact one month to do a rebuild on the engine so the engine is pretty uh running healthy right now um this light right here uh that's just uh telling me the for the trailer you know the the side marker light on the trailer on the side on the very back yeah, um, that kind of snapped off during the winter time when I was driving in the snow. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, you know, I was doing pre-trip and then uh, I just saw the light kind of just disappeared. I think it uh, kind of just took off, you know, it kind of fell and, uh, and I lost there for some reason. So, you know, turning signals working perfectly fine. My right turning signal, left turning signal, everything is okay on the tractor. It's just that marker light on the back of the trailer. 15 miles on this curve, what? No way, can't be. Yeah, I'm right. This is not a 15 curve, bro. I know what a 15 curve looks like, that's for sure. All right, so yeah, everything's good on the truck. Everything is 100%, man, like, it's pretty good. I've been running no problems knock on wood for about a month and a half now since i got the truck honestly it has not broke down unless you know like i had to get a pm service but you know that's maintenance stuff that's normal but other than that the truck is uh is great man it's great but before the brand <laughs> before the engine rebuild you guys i was man i think i faced so many breakdowns i was like uh, i was just stressing out anyways man that's all like uh i took off for a long time but honestly i did not take a break from trucking except for that one time when i had a rebuilt because uh thank you truck i was gonna let him go and pass me but i guess everyone's going slow so i was like all right i guess i'll be uh i'll just take him over 
normally I like having these cars pass me first before I go behind them just because you know I don't have to worry about it in December these are my plans for this year guys <laughs> like I said some of you guys would not like it some of you guys will or some of you guys would not even care all right so at the end of the year in December right I'll be hitting two years in that case um, so two years in December and I'm planning on be done with trucking I'm planning on quitting well at least OTR um, I'm sick of it man I, that's all I gotta say I tried two years right you can't tell me oh you haven't even uh, stayed in trucking for for a good amount of time I have bro I think two years is good enough to know whether you like trucking or not and um, I'm talking specifically in OTR right I uh, I might try local but I think um, most likely I'll be transitioning to local and be done with OTR because I am sick of it uh, I'm done with it especially with the uh, with the rates going on and um, nothing was nothing is keeping up with all the expenses um it, it's making me like you know i thought this through a lot you know like i don't even know how to tell you guys like i thought this through many many times you know i did not just decide in a single day and said okay i'm done all right hold up 35 slow down So like I said, I didn't decide in a single day and told myself, okay, I'm done, I'm done with OTR, you know, I'm, I'm out. Nah. This thought or this doubt of me not wanting OTR anymore started probably in the beginning of this year. That's probably why also I just haven't been taking videos because I'm, I'm getting tired of it, I'm sick of it. You know, it's not for me. Like I said, like, trucking is not for everyone, you know, but there's nothing wrong with you trying and doing your best and, uh, you know, putting everything that you can to this, uh, to this job or you wanna call it career, then you can call it career. But for me, I just don't see it as my career. Uh, that was from the jump anyways but I was you know back then I, I was thinking you know should I even do OTR and I'm kind of glad I didn't because imagine if I would have bought my own truck and um, I end up just not even liking trucking like that then um, that would have been bad because you know I'll be I don't know I'll I just won't be happy I'm just that's all I gotta say. I'm not happy doing OTR. Not be, like always being away from my loved ones, especially my girlfriend. Like, I just can't, man. Like, I can't do this. I gotta do something else. Like they said, you know, you gotta be, you gotta do something in your career where it makes you happy. If trucking makes you happy, go ahead. You know, after you tried it for two years, go ahead and judge yourself. Are you happy? You know, are you, um, is every, everybody uh, getting taken care of you know once you answer both of that yes then go ahead and stay in trucking you, you can even go ahead and uh, become an owner operator but with the future looking like you know how we switching in, into a vehicle um, electric vehicles you know cars are switching to full electric very soon I'm not saying like very very soon but I would say like 20, probably 2040, all electric cars are gonna be like, you know, everywhere. And 
imagine just imagine this imagine how much the gas prices would be if everyone is driving uh, electric vehicles and there's only like 10% in the United States are driving internal combustion engines imagine that the the the, the prices on the fuel is gonna go up up and up it's already up right now like in California is about like seven bucks or like almost seven dollars Oh man, I don't even want to think about future. Imagine like it's gonna be like fifteen dollars for a gallon. It's just uh, my point is, trucks are gonna be the same thing. We're gonna switch into electric trucks. There's all there's already like few videos out there on YouTube where the local people are like pretty much getting all electrics because um, what do you call it? Because um. If they put these trucks in OTR, there's kind of like a risk of like not having being charged. But if they're in local areas, you know, where they pretty much bring out the truck back to the terminal, then they can like charge it. You know, like it just makes sense. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, like that's good that they're trying out in local first. And then like, you know, eventually, eventually it's gonna be in OTR because they're gonna have to build charging stations um, they're gonna have to I mean truck stops are gonna have like charging stations but you know they're gonna have to figure that out how everything's gonna work and um, they gotta they kind of have to make it like fast charging because you know we have like 10 hour reset like they have to make it to seem like where trucks can be charged um, fully in just 10 hours but like I said, like that's my, that's my point. Like I don't know if I uh, want to deal with all that, especially I'm not even happy, do, happy doing OTR. So it's not even a goal. It's it's not a goal for me, you know. So at the end of this year, I'll be quitting. Uh, I already told my boss and everything, and um, my boss is actually uh, planning on shutting down his company after all of his drivers quit. So. He has three drivers right now, okay? So, he had four, but <laughs> my friend got fired. <laughs> oh, man, you don't even want to ask me how he got fired, bro. Like, it, it's crazy. But anyways, I got him in, right? And then he kind of, like, embarrassed me because he did something stupid. Um, but it was an accident, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of, I guess I'll just tell that story in the future or whatever if I wanted to. I got to ask him first for, uh, you know, for permission but if you guys don't even know him why would it matter you know but yeah he got fired so he only has three drivers he sold the trucks already that he was using um and then third driver is me I'm gonna quit this year so he's gonna only have two drivers at the end of this year there's so many cops bro so two drivers and then um after those two drivers quit, he's planning on just selling his company. I think one of the drivers that he uh, he works for him is actually gonna buy the trucks or whatever. I don't know what the plan is, but my boss is also done as well, you know, because all of these laws are coming up and all these um, maybe electric trucks are coming soon. Uh, that's what he told me, you know, he might be done as well. So I don't really feel bad that I'm gonna leave and like, you know, like, oh, you know, I feel bad because, you know, he done me so well and um, he gave me the opportunity to make more money than like working for a mega carrier. So I really appreciate him very much. So, I mean, I that's all I could say to him. Like, thank you, you know, because without him, I think uh, my life would have been like somewhere different. I would have went to a different route, but with him, he made my life a little bit easier. So thank you for that lesson. So that's why I don't even mind uh, showing you guys the uh, company logo when I was walking around the truck. By the way, I already did my pre-trip like this morning. I had a delivery uh, at 6 a.m. Um, here in the main, I forgot what city what, uh, I was at. Fremont or something? Something like that. Yeah. 
so don't think like oh this guy just walked throughout his truck not completely doing a proper pre-trip so don't even hit me on that on the comments just letting you guys know i was just walking around just to show you guys the truck um and also i had to drain the uh the coolant was building up on the water the fuel water separator fuel um yeah but there's there's another story for that one <laughs> but it's, it's getting better and better the more i drain it basically because um something happened with the what when they rebuilt the engine you know this truck had a coolant issue the coolant was going inside the engine and i guess that all that coolant was building up inside and then when they rebuilt the engine um basically the engine is kind of spitting out all the fuel i mean the the coolant out so my job is to drain it out all the time but it's getting less and less the more i do it so i could i could definitely tell that um there's uh there's definitely less and less coolant in there so which is good because before i would switch i would flip the switch and literally all the coolant comes out so many coolant right so much coolant for like about 30 seconds non-stop like it's like woo but now it's like about uh, i would say uh well, two seconds you know so imagine two seconds versus 30 seconds was a big difference oh man I feel like I was talking a lot, but um, they still haven't sent me the actual address, bro. I'm like 19 miles away, patiently waiting. I had to pick between a Georgia load or a Florida load this morning. I was like, I'm not going to Florida, dude. No way, especially for a, just a little bit more. Um, they were paying at Florida, I think they were paying 30. 34 yeah i think it was 34 but it was like 1500 miles so i was like nah i'm not going to florida because i know if i go there it's gonna be another cheap load what is where is this going bro all right i guess back road i just have to double check because sometimes the gps be telling me to exit and then um I don't really have to take that back road, but this time I think I have to. Uh, make a right, 26. So yeah, you guys, so when I quit, I'll definitely let you guys know once I get more closer there. Because um, I'm planning on just doing probably local. And um, I'm planning on doing something different with the, with my YouTube channel. I don't know yet to be exactly. Well, you guys will find out. Uh, is this a, ra is that a roundabout there? I think I got to go out here. A left lane because we're turning left soon. Okay, that's a wide load for a back road. That kind of rhyme. I think we're making a left on that light. It looks kind of confusing. Left on this light and then left on that light. Hmm. Yeah. So you guys, I was like, you know, I was like calculating what I would make in local versus what I was making now. It's not, I mean, you could definitely make more in OTR. That's no doubt, right? Oh, my bad, dude. I would let him go, but I hit the yellow light anyways. So yeah, I, I was thinking, you know, like, yeah, you could do, you could definitely make more in OTR. That's no question asked, you know, because, you know, you're sacrificing so much more and uh, you're pretty much at work every day, every single day. And um, like, duh, you're going to make more, right? 
but in local i was like you know calling like companies and uh, companies around my area i was like you know what that's not too bad right it's not too bad i'll be home every day every single night i'll be home on the weekends that, that's just you know that's i think that's the that's the uh that's the move that i need to make Man, I'll tell you, man, I'm, I'm done with OTR. I'm just trying to finish this year so I could at least have two years experience because majority of my, the companies around my area are requiring two years minimum for insurance purposes. Makes sense. So I don't really, I don't really blame them for that. Insurance is expensive, man. I'd pay for it. <laughs> I pay half, so I know, I know how expensive it could be. This is a weird back road, but this is what happens when you go to Northeast, man. All sketchy roads. Yeah, so I'll be doing local. I'm gonna try that for about a year. If I like it, I might stay another year. I don't know, it just depends. You know, I really don't know where to go with my life anymore. I know I told you guys I wanted to become a pilot. But then pilot <laughs> is about the same as OTR schedule. You know, be out for a month, come home to your mama for about, you know, a few weeks and uh, get ready to back out again. It's like, bro, like that kind of schedule is named for me. You know, I can't even imagine myself having a kid. I always say this, can't imagine have, uh, have a kid and then um, not being able to see them taking them to school you know and all that try to feed them and stuff i don't know bro it's i'm not that kind of person where i could do that if i could barely leave my girlfriend for <laughs> for a long time i don't know if i could do uh the other so yeah i'll be doing local man i'll try that out and um i really don't know what to do i saved up um a good money i would say to basically i could do pretty much if i wanted to go to school i can you know like just depends on what i want to do at this point but right now your boy is uh your boy is lost and i feel like that's normal you know especially for my age there's so many people out there finish in college you know they graduate college and then um they just end up like not even liking their job or career that they chose at least i'm not on that uh i'm not in that um situation where i spent a lot of time in school or whatever uh put myself in debt and not even wanting my career you know stuff like that so i really gotta make sure what i really want to do i kind of want to be a mechanic like automotive mechanic but i don't know if i really want to uh deal with climbing a ladder because i know it's for auto mechanic auto automotive mechanics like kind of like same thing you know you got to climb the ladder i think that's everywhere else you know that's anywhere so i don't know but i feel like that would be something that i would love like working on cars but then again thinking about future it's gonna be electric cars how boring is electric cars are like i'm not an electric car fan you know i'm not an ev fan like that's that's a no-go bro but it's coming so in a way it's like i have to accept it that eventually we're not gonna have these beautiful sounding engines it's gonna be all quiet can't even hear it like you know what if a motorcycle have an electric motorcycle what if it's passing you and you can't even hear him imagine how many accidents for motorcycle i wouldn't even ride a motorcycle if that was the case a lot of motorcycles nowadays like you know they're loud they're meant for you to like hear them when they're coming or like when they're about to pass you so imagine electric cars here no way you're gonna hear that motorcycle at all that's kind of scary but i don't know what they're gonna do about motorcycle electric electrics <laughs> uh, 
Uh, all right, 15 miles out, and I still don't get a address here. I hope they send it soon because um, it doesn't seem like any truck parking around here. I see a semi. That, that's good news. Good sign, you know. I don't like it when <laughs> it's all four wheelers around me. <laughs> it's scaring me, bro. Quiet zone, no engine brakes. Got it. But yeah, I mean, it's not to the point where I hate OTR. You know, hate is a strong word. I just dislike it because it makes me unhappy. You know, like, it's just not, I'm not comfortable being out here and, um, I don't, you know, it's all right. Like, don't get me wrong, it's all right. Like, you get, you guys can tell by, you know, by me speaking to you guys right now. It's an all right job. Like, <laughs> it's just, I'm just not happy. Like, I guess it just really depends on the person. You know, if you like trucking, you like trucking. That's on you. But if you don't, then you just don't, bro. Like, it ain't gonna work. And there's no way for you to push that. There's so many uh, ways to uh, to get yourself somewhere else, you know. That's the beauty of America, America. So yeah, you can do whatever you want as long as you work for it. You all work hard. You're uh, committed and you put your your best. You know, you put your best out of everything, and you'll find out eventually I, I mean that's what I'm hoping for myself is uh, you know hopefully one day I'll find what I really love while making money you know you get me so at this point your boy is lost lost in the sauce but it's okay it's okay because I know sometimes people take time to actually find out what they really want to do in life so I'm not too worried, you know, as long as I'm being smart in life, you know, making the right decisions and not um, getting myself in trouble, you're good. There's a for, for sale truck right there. Right there, right there. All right, Lester, where, where is this place, bro? I ain't liking this. We're just driving the speed limit so <laughs> we don't go too fast. Fleet load. Is it this one? No, it's not even that. Uh. Go ahead, truck. Bye bye. I was thinking you guys um before before I did trucking I was uh, playing this game called American Truck Simulator on my computer whatever right that's probably why I kind of like know the the knowledge of like kind of like doing like you know turns or whatever but yeah I was like thinking you know what if I after this year I'll be doing that so I'll basically stream online plus I'll do probably like you know local runs but like I was thinking like you know me doing local runs would basically kind of just limit me from showing you guys because I'll pretty much basically staying in California uh, I think that's kind of like you know eventually I'll pretty much covered everything in California just like when I was with Swift, when I was doing regional, you know, I was like, I got to the point, I was like, all right, you know what? You guys seen everything. That's it, you know? So, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Um, I might turn the channel into a car channel, maybe, I don't know yet, because I'm still debating if I should get a car or not, or uh, because, you know, your boy's thinking about future, man. And the number one... The number one thing that you could ever... The worst you can put your money in 
is cars because they, they, they appreciate, you know? They lose value as soon as you drive that thing out of the lot of the, the dealership, you know? But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know my plans yet. There's a climb here, what? This is kind of weird, man. 26 North. It's looking like Vermont. It's kind of like this. But I think um, I'll hit you guys up when I get more closer to my pickup. But that's when they sent me the uh, address for, for my pickup location. Because right now I still don't have the address. I'm just going near that place. But yeah, I'll let you guys up just in a minute. Alright guys, they finally sent me the actual address now. We're only six miles away. But my phone is saying four miles. So I'm gonna try to see if there's a truck route where my phone probably not. I already can tell. There's no way I'm gonna turn right here. Brigitte Road. Yeah, no way. I'm gonna just go the long way because that looks sketch to me. Just that turn right there. Uh, yeah, no way. Always follow your truck GPS. <laughs> Take a slight right, turn onto Brown Road. No, 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 no Brown Road. We're going Main Street. 35. to the main street there's a nah still looks sketch look at that no through trucks good there's a cemetery Miles, turn right onto south main street i hate going to the back roads and i see a cemetery turn right <laughs> onto south main street it's so creepy man main street all right now they're both synced in together. Oh, it's still 35? What the? What's my GPS saying 45? What a liar, bruh. Trying to get me in trouble, GPS. Man, over here lying, bro. Looks so nice on a sunny day here. <laughs> I said that because I was going through uh, Vermont during the winter time and it was scary. It is Turn scary, right. guys. I'm telling you, man, like, I used to love snow, but last winter, it really just scared the hell out of me. I am done with snow, bro. That's probably, like, that's all another reason why I want to quit in December. I, I don't want to deal with that anymore, bro. There's so many times where... I thought I was gonna die. Or I was just getting I was just gonna get stuck and like not ever get help. There was one time man I was in the back right road, onto South Main Street. And then um it was snowing hard, like hard, like blizzard hard. And I was the only one in the back road, man. Your boy did not want like did not know what to do. I, I did not want to stop there. I didn't want to get I, I had to keep going, bro. Like, it was so terrible. Like, that would be the most scariest experience in trucking. Like, ever, bro. I was going like 15 miles or 20 miles an hour. I could not see anything. I was like blindly driving, pretty much. Like, I know some of you guys would be like, you should have just pulled over, blah, blah, blah. But, dude, I was. I was really gonna get stuck there if I stopped, Miles, bro. Take a slight right turn onto Pleasant Street. I was gonna get stuck there for like I would say a week. Because I don't know what was going on, man. Like they had a 
huge storm. It was it was scary. And um I don't want to go back to that and I do not want to experience that anymore. Snow is a scary thing, man. Especially if you don't have the uh like the guts to like go through it. I did it. So I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that, but it was definitely one of the uh scary moments in trucking. Two miles, make a right, Pleasant Street. Okay. We're getting somewhere, boys. We're getting somewhere. Uh, but yeah, man, so if you guys have any ideas what I should do, my YouTube channel, what do you guys are, I want to know what you guys want to be like interested in me on doing, you know? I know you guys are here because I was doing OTR and um, you guys saw me switch from Mega Carrier to a smaller company. So, what would you be guys be interested in watching on YouTube, especially my channel or whatever? I might have to just do whatever, you know? Like, I might just test out waters you know what I mean by that just test out things and then um see how it goes because I don't really want to stop my YouTube because you guys are pretty funny and you guys kind of entertain me as well uh, especially when I talk to you guys in the comments and just reading you guys comments just it's awesome man and um what I'm gonna do when I finish this video um, I would start replying to everyone. I'll try to answer all of the comments and messages on my DMs uh, to get you guys what you guys need to be at, uh, the answers that you guys are looking for. And you know? I don't know if you guys have a lot of questions, and I'm so sorry that um, I just been MIA, kind of just ghost on you guys. But I'm gonna try to um, what do you call this? Make it, make it up to you guys, you know? So at least I can, um, you know, do that favor for you guys because uh, I did you guys wrong, man. <laughs> I was gone for a very long time. It's August already. I was gone since <laughs> December. That's, that's eight months, Take bro. a slight right, turn onto Pleasant Street. That's dirty. All right, 0.4. My seatbelt here doesn't like when my seat is kind of like on the high position. I don't know if the sensor is going bad as well. No idea. Let's go 25. I'm gonna make a. Sh uh, it doesn't look like a sharp turn. Good thing no no car was coming. Onto Pleasant Street. That's a very tight Then tunnel. turn left onto Lewiston Street. All right, make it right here. Look at these little town, bro. So cute. Wonder how many people live here. Let's wait for this truck. Oh, he he gonna go for me. Thank you, bro. So nice. I really had to do that wide turn, guys. Yeah. I wouldn't have made it. Street. Uh. He left here? I guess. Miles, turn right. 1.5. You have arrived in your destination. Look at this mansion, bro. Who lives there? Do you really need a big house like that? I don't know, bro. Sometimes I don't get what mansion is for. Like, that's a big house right there. Like, you could have a <laughs> a basketball in there and just play when you're inside your house. No problem. I don't need a big house, man. Have you seen these houses? They're so big, like, they're American house for sure. Like, eh, that's crazy, bro. Unless you have a big family, you know, then yeah, that's very understandable. 
But if there's only like three of you guys, what are you gonna do with a big house? Well, let's go 35 here. There's a car behind me. I don't want him waiting too long. I got you, bro. Fire station. Turn right. What? Oh, one mile. <laughs> Sir, he's stripping, bro. I thought he, I thought she said turn right over there. I'm like, no, nah, bro. I'm not turning right there. 45. Let's go. 309 Lewiston Street. Okay, 309. What's the name of this building? Nap. Nep W Logistics 309 Slow down here I don't know the entrance Nep U Logistics Nep W Then the destination is on your right Is it here? Bro, how do I get there? Oh, bro. Dude, I just missed it. We're gonna have to make a U-turn. Oh my goodness. This is bad. It's fine. Don't panic. This happened before. <laughs> oh man, the worst thing you could do is panic. So we need to get back there. I, I think I saw it. But we need to find a place to make a U-turn. I think I could have went there. All right. to go all the way back or going all around I mean no choice that's all we're gonna have to do it is what it is unless I see something that can make a u-turn huh to the route in 1.2 miles take a slight right turn onto lower road can I make a U here? no I won't make it what about here? Uh, that would have been fine You know what guys, we're just gonna go around because that's- Take a slight right turn onto lower road. That's the safer way to do it. No point of risking it right now and hitting something, you know? Uh, I'll let you guys up once I get more closer because uh, I have to go around. After 10 mile <laughs> going around, we are back to where we were. Miles, I'm gonna turn try. Right. I'm gonna try to do this right this time. Alright. It took a while because the speed limit are very low here. So, you know, just takes time. Guys, okay, so I finally made the turn. Hopefully, this one's right. Because, uh, oh yeah, see a dock. That makes me feel a lot better. Nep W Logistic, yep.
park where this guy is at. Let's go ahead and check in. I'll take you guys with me. So let's go. Ow! What? For some reason I couldn't pull <laughs> my tractor brakes. Alright. Oh man, it's so nice out here. This guy's probably waiting. On my time, it says 12 o'clock, and it's only 10 o'clock. Hopefully, uh, oh, it's paper. I already know what it is. That's why it's heavy. Those paper rolls. Let's see what they say. Drivers, please slide your tandem back for being loaded or unloaded. Do not sweep, block your truck in the yard. You do well. I got loaded. All right. Laziness is disease, I will. <laughs> That's Atlanta, Georgia. All right, guys. He told me to back into door three. I gotta open my doors. But uh, my GoPro died, as usual. So we're gonna go door three right now. It says it's slide my tandems and uh, they'll check the trailer if it's clean. He backed into three, so I don't know now. Hmm. Should I just go two? I'm gonna just go two. I don't know. This guy, dude. Oh, there's no two, so. You know what? I'm gonna just wait because he checked in, so let's back up here. Four. That thing is on the way.
<laughs> Strong headed. I was not trying to slam, bro. Oh well. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna have to go inside. They're gonna check the trailer. Oh, I gotta slide my tandem. All good? Alright, just like that you guys. We just had to do a quick inspection. Hey guys, we are now loaded. We are out of here. We are heading to McDonough, Georgia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I know some of you guys will probably laugh. But yeah, that's where we're heading. I'm just gonna get out of here so these guys can back. Just in case they need the door, you know. Close my door here, just a minute. It's getting hot, you guys. All right, get the seal. It took me a very long time because I have no idea. What happened was uh, 
you know, since my load is super heavy. Um, here, let me just put that out just real quick. 42 South. McDonough. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's GA. I'm just kidding. It's McDonough. I don't know how to say it. So I'll just say McDonald's. This one. Entire trip. So yeah, um, the load is very heavy, right? Well, oh, I was gonna take my hat off, forgot my GoPro. <laughs> um, and then the, the level of the floor was not elevated. So it was, um, it was doing like an even pressure to my, to my trailer doors. So for me to actually close the door, I have to, I had to find a, a flat surface so if you guys can't close your door and your your load is heavy that's because why because um it's not elevated and then it's making like a weird tilt to your door it, it makes more sense there's a guy that actually explained that on youtube uh you guys can find him <laughs> that's why i learned i think the first time that happened to me i was so confused i was like why is this door won't close right it was nothing was aligning and your job was to you know to get a a flatted surface and then that's when you can close the door so we're gonna go to a cat scale because this load is very heavy but the next one would be 72 miles hopefully there's no way station <laughs> within those 72 miles driving about 500 miles today and I'm planning on taking a shower so we're gonna drive that take a shower and then tomorrow we'll get to our delivery deliver this load on Wednesday in the morning oh, it's only 35 here going too fast Chill out, chill out. All right. We good. So that's the plan today. Just go to a truck stop, get some shower. Cause your boy sweated today, man. <laughs> I sweated just trying to close that door. I tried multiple times because like I said, like, I don't know if you guys saw the facility was just not even, uh, flatted surface you know it was a lot of uh heel and stuff going on so it was kind of tough i mean they should flatten the surface there because i mean <laughs> they're delivering on um, papers yeah this load is heavy bro i've been um i've been hauling a uh, I've been holding light loads lately and then this load man I can see the difference huge difference <laughs> it's been a while since I got a 40 40,000 pound load <laughs> not gonna be fun on uphills but it's okay it is what it is can't always have light loads
95 all the way, maybe nine in a 90. Good morning everyone. Uh, I woke up with a headache. Uh, well, I don't know what happened. Seems like I wasn't getting air. I forgot to uh, open my window before I went to bed last night. I'm supposed to open the window because if I, if I wasn't getting air, you know, like like there's no air circulation going on in the truck so I think my head is all feels all heavy right now but it's all good um right now we're in Richfield New Jersey one of the uh I would say the biggest area rest area here in this area <laughs> in this state at least because uh it's not much a uh, rest area near this state except this one I believe and it's pretty big but it's always packed because you know it's new jersey what do you expect a lot of uh, local drivers here just park their trucks here when they go home very understandable so i mean i try to stay away with the uh big city when it comes to truck parking because of this you know and uh my check engine light turned on again yesterday but i already know that's already that that only turned on because of the uh, the fuel water separator. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it was a uh, it got built up again with a little bit of coolant in there, but not too much, so it's okay. It's still getting less, like I said. I'm gonna get some water. 
We're gonna head out here very soon. Just warming up the truck. Trying to see what I should eat today. Oh. I don't know yet. I think I'll uh, figure that out later. Always refill your fridge, man. <laughs> All right, so seems like we don't have fuel. I'm gonna have to get fuel first. Uh, we're gonna go to a pilot here, even though I don't really want, I don't really want to, but. It's gonna be super expensive, man. Uh, let's see. I think that's fine. 45. Let's go to 124. Because we only have like half a quarter here. <laughs> back hurts, I don't know why. Someone did not sleep that well. <laughs> oh well. Um. So today we should be really close to Georgia and my boss texted me this morning that he wants to meet up because he has like my truck registration. All right. Uh, be out of here Let's start our day man I was planning on starting at five o'clock but like I said bro I did not sleep well last night for some reason I keep on waking up I don't know if it's because of uh, people keep on passing by and they're being loud I don't know Oh man, my head hurts, my back hurts. What is going on, bro? That's not good. It's gonna be a rough day. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a rough day. The annoying, uh, this rest area is kind of built weird because they made it to the point like it goes around and around until you go back to the freeway. I don't know, it's kind of weird for me. You guys will see. Trucks left lane. All right. <coughs> I forgot my vape in the back. I'm gonna have to grab it before I hop onto this freeway. You guys see how packed it is? It was packed, it was like super packed yesterday. Look at this truck right here, this Western. That's not even a parking spot. Like, I don't even know if it's parked or what, what's he doing? This is crazy, bro. Yeah, he's parked. His curtains is on. That's crazy. Look at this, bro. Oh, hell no, dude. This is not good. Like, people are, like, parking where it's not even designated parking spot. Cause then if you hit them, I'm like, oh, you hit my truck. Well, I, why'd you park there, bro? You get me? Like, it's common sense, dude. Look at this, bro. People really like spend their night doing that. When there's like, there was a couple parking outside, but I guess they really wanted to park inside. But you know, that's on them. Like. Let's say this truck has to leave, they're gonna have to like wake this dude up and be like, hey, move, bro. You know, like, that's so inconvenient. All right, we're 
we're about to hop onto the freeway here, so we're gonna put our hazard. Grab my vape real quick. ghetto bro like they need a like what is that bro look at this truck inside like he's trapped inside like how is he gonna get out of there how is that Volvo gonna get out of there bro how tell me they're all gonna have to move two trucks gonna have to move for sure like this truck and the one in front this is hectic bro someone needs to uh you know, be out here telling these trucks where not to park because that's, I feel like that's hazard, you know? What if something happens? I don't know, you know? Anything could happen, bro. Like, liability, man. Look at this truck, bro. <laughs> Stay on the lane, bro. <laughs> This guy got a cone on <laughs> That's smart. This is why trucks, uh, we, we need more parking, bro. <laughs> and US is not doing anything, bro. Like south it's over here. My GPS was uh, leading me somewhere else. All right, that was the uh, rest area, you guys, here in Richfield, New Jersey. I don't even really recommend it because it is just too much, bro. <laughs> I don't like that, man. I'm just here to park, you know? Making my life my life uh, way too hard just to park my truck. Me no like that. Let's get back here. I need to clean my windows. I'm sorry, guys, if it's, like, dirty. <clears throat> I'll clean that after uh, when I get my fuel. limit 45 all right uh, I think I need to drink some Advil man yeah, my head's hurting way too much I'm trying my best uh, trying to do the video I was like I woke up I was like man I don't even want to do the YouTube I was like dude I gotta do it because I did it yesterday and uh, I gotta push this video out I really have to push this video out because <laughs> I know some of you guys are still waiting until yeah, until now and I appreciate it. I really do Like that's just love, you know, I was like man, you know if people weren't looking for it I would just be done, but <laughs> Some of you guys are still patiently waiting for me to push out a new video and so I Can't fail you. I Have to deliver Tall Plaza two miles easy pass keep left uh, so many tolls here as well. I hate this area, dude. I don't like Northeast. I was, I just passed by New York last night. I'm sorry, guys, if I uh, didn't really take a video after my pickup. Well, I kind of did a little bit, but 
I just hate going to New York, man. I forgot to turn on my GoPro before I got to this pilot. I got my fuel, clean my windows, and uh, I'm already parked up. I'm just waiting until they call me up until my shower is ready. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I totally forgot. I need to put that in my head again. Um, I need to get back on my game, man, because it's been a while, and um, I'm just not used to of uh, having the GoPro in my uh, in my head anymore. So. But I'm gonna take you guys in with me to uh, to this pilot and see how the showers goes. Um, hopefully it's decent, you know. It's always nice to have decent showers, but we'll see though. Um, I am next on the uh, shower. I guess there's not much of truckers showering at this time, so which is good. All right, guys, showers ready. So let's get in there. Thanks, boss. good to go I'm all freshened up and um, we're gonna head out right now because we have a long drive to go I gotta be near Georgia today and I believe tomorrow my boss is meeting me up I think I already mentioned this because he has my registration for the uh, for the truck this year so that is the plan so we are out of here is this thing charging Cause if this battery dies on my GoPro, I don't have a backup. All right, I think that's good. Just gonna wait for this truck. I put this thing like kind of slanting like right this because every time there's a bump, my pens would just fall. I even did this but I guess I need to do it again because <clears throat> it gets all loose all right boys fuel prices are very expensive I wonder if I could just make a right I'm gonna just turn right because uh the exit is over here No point of me turning it up. <laughs> uh, right. Ooh, it's hot. 
exit here. over here I, I just put in uh 80 gallons so i can get my free shower but you know i was thinking the other day what if i don't even get pilot anymore and i just buy the uh buy the shower you know and i calculated and everything you could actually save a lot more money if you uh if you go to the uh mom and pops gas station and then afterwards just buy the shower but i guess i don't know if you're not getting a full tank then like 80 gallons just for the shower i think it's still it's still okay you know but definitely not a full tank <laughs> the 80 gallons cost me like uh like 400 something it was so expensive bro crazy all right go left here oh and then, um yesterday i also waited the truck i didn't take a video on that but we are heavy boys we are like my gross is like 72 pretty heavy and um i got to this cat scale my trailer was over by a thousand so i had to fix my tandems right and then i reweigh so now i'm at 30 on my drives 30 on the trailer and i'm at like 12 100 on my steers i'm not really tripping about 100 over because um i've done that before and uh they don't really care about 100 you know if you're going over like 300 and up or like 400 yeah that's sketch you know you got to do something and fix it but other than that you should be okay with 100. i remember when i was with swift i think i was over 150 and i was tripping i was like man do i really have to fix this and i was asking questions like i was asking like other truck drivers and they're like nah you should be okay you know so i was like all right bet Alrighty guys, I'm in North Carolina now. Um, I'm about to reach my second fuel stop because uh, when I went to pilot, let me close the window. <laughs> gonna fill up here and then continue our journey afterwards. And um, I just want to say, uh, oh man, a quick note. <laughs> Uh, a lot of you guys thought I was dead or whatever. It was kind of funny, man. Um, everybody was hitting me up on Instagram. Man, you dead? Uh, to die or whatever? Uh, people are commenting on my post. Uh, they were like, man, he died, bro. Like, R.I.P. And, <laughs> and it was just funny to me. And then, um, I mean, I didn't really reply. And then that's probably why they were like, yeah, he's dead for sure. But I don't know where that idea came from or who spread it out that i was dead or whatever and um man it got it got it got to the point where a lot of people are hitting my my girlfriend and asking her you know is Chaz okay like you know is he dead <laughs> even my boss i'm pretty surprised guys i am not dead i'm still i'm still out here i'm still doing trucking you know but this year would definitely be my last year. Next year, I'm gonna just, I need to do something different, you know? Everybody's gonna be different. I'm not saying follow my route, follow where, you know, what I did, but, you know, if it works out for you, you know, power to you, but for me, uh, I gotta put an end to it. All right, we're gonna go to a uh, Speedway to fill up here. I wanted to go to a quick trip, but I don't think I'm gonna make it there. That's like my guess. I always fuel up in quick trip because <laughs> get the best deal, man. 
Brazil. But we're gonna go to Speedway. I'm uh, probably gonna spend some of my, uh, what do you call it, my rewards. They do have rewards as well here. Look at that, 444. And then all the uh, loves and um, pilot I was passing by, they were like $5. Which is crazy. Truck entrance. I was like, where? <laughs> I saw these cars and I was like, uh uh, I'm not going in there, but I guess you go to the side here. And just take it slow because you know there's uh, you don't want to hit any cars or any pedestrian. We have to swing wide here. Should be okay. All right, we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna get a full tank. Look at look at all these cards, guys. This is like all the rewards. Every time like I shop around with the uh, fuel uh, stations because you know all fuel stations different, but <laughs> you guys could kind of tell as you guys can see. Uh, Speedway has a, has one, so I'm gonna use some of those rewards as well. I'm gonna get some snack or something. It's your boy, man. I am bored in the road. When you're bored in the road, you gotta get some snacks. Let's go inside. What number is this? Ah, uh, pump ten. There's me. <laughs> I had to take off my GoPro. I got really shy. I'm not used to having the GoPro on top of my head anymore. Um, it's gonna take some time. <laughs> so, sorry for that. But let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up so we can get out of here. $620 for a hundred, almost 140 gallons. It's not too shabby. If I would have went to a, to like gloves pilot, would have cost me $800. Easy. It's like $200 difference right there. So, uh, I really try not to go to Lugs pilot TA where it's gonna take a lot of my paycheck, you know? My paycheck and my boss paycheck. <laughs> Since we're 50-50 on it. So, it's always good to save money, man. No point. Unless you're really desperate for showers. Like today, I was desperate for showers. I, I could not go longer with my day. So I'm gonna go inside, get me some snacks, and I'll catch you guys after, okay? I'm very upset because uh, I tried to uh, redeem my points and to redeem your points at Speedway is like through the app and um, it's just giving me hard. Uh, oh man. It was giving me a, a hard trouble on just redeeming a point. So I was like, you know what, forget about it, you know? And then um, the app was like, oh, we locked you down be uh, for too many attempts because uh, I was trying to figure out what my password was. And they locked me in just for after 
trying twice on my password. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna deal with this, you know? I'm just gonna grab me some Kit Kat and some Oreo brownies until, you know, I get to, to Georgia. So, oh man, little stuff, bro. Like, I don't know why they make the, uh, the reward system so complicated like that. It's kind of annoying, but I'm out of here, man. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> I wasn't gonna ask them like, hey, you know, how do you use it? They're probably gonna, oh, just go through the app. You know how it is, man. So your boy's a little upset, but nothing that I can do. All right, we have to swing over here because our trailer might hit the gas pump. And also, they didn't even have deaf here, so I, I couldn't get deaf. I'm gonna have to like stop by tomorrow. It's not like I'm super empty. I'll make it until tomorrow. But for today, we're not gonna get any deaf. It's kinda hot. Uh, shoot. Oh no, we're making a right. Cause we made a left earlier. Ooh, I'm so heavy. Come on, truck. Oh, it's having trouble. She's heavy. She's heavy. Oh, yeah. Especially with a full tank. That, that gave me some trouble there. All right, we're going to hop in 77 south. We out, we out, we out. All right. You guys could kind of tell <laughs> how cheap I am, right? Like, um, you're probably out. All right, guys, sorry, my GoPro died again. <laughs> Just keeps on dying. I'm already used to it. But, um, I was saying, you might be saying, like, Dang, you know, like why why didn't Chez just buy the uh, the snacks that he wanted a Speedway? Okay, I was like, eh. The answer to that is I'm very cheap. Well, I'm cheap when it comes to like when I'm out here alone and trucking. But I'm when I'm at home, I don't cheap out. You know, this is what I call like saving everything that I like pretty much earn in trucking. Like, I don't really like spend it like just because, oh, I wanted snacks. Yeah, that's fine to have snacks, but I also had snacks in my in my truck, you know? So it's like, in a way, I just wanted to use those rewards because they were, they were free, you know? I like free stuff, bro, don't get me wrong. That's why like, <laughs> every time I get those uh, rewards points, uh, loves or whatever, normally I use it for for like water uh, I never pay for my water you guys like my water is always free because of rewards points and those are the things that you can take advantage in trucking you know save up uh, save up your points man um, you get free snacks sometimes you get free water you get free uh, free spam bro <laughs> I love spam you guys know how much I love spam um yeah there's many things you can guys pretty much could buy anything you see on the store you can buy it for free as long as you you save up your points you know but that's just a little tip but that's what i do and um i don't really spend my money like that unless like i need food let's say i, I need to go to walmart then yeah that's acceptable you know but for junks, a uh, truck stop, hell no. You know how much the prices on truck stops compared to like if you were just went to Walmart, way cheaper. So that's the reason I don't buy any of the truck stops food because way too expensive for me. It's not the right place to buy your stuff. But then again, you know, as long as it's free, why not? <laughs> I love Kit Kat. 
I bought a box. It has a the regular one. It has the brick, the the brick one. I've never seen the brick Kit Kat for ever in my life. So when I opened the box, I was like, "Whoa, what is this?" I thought it was a like a present. But I guess it's part of the uh, part of the combo. So you got the regular one. You got the brick. Um, you got dark chocolate and a white chocolate. All of them fire, bro. So good. Can't complain. And I know a lot of people don't even like dark chocolate, but I really do. I like how it's like the sweetness is very, like, very low, you know? When I crave that, I eat that dark chocolate, bro. Pretty good. If you guys are wondering, is this all I'm gonna eat today? <laughs> you know, this all day. I haven't ate. This is like my first, my first snack, pretty much. And the answer is now. I usually uh, before I would eat on my 30-minute break, but now. I don't even do that because uh I don't know I feel like I'm wasting time instead of like just me taking uh, an exact 30 minute break every time I have to cook it usually takes like an hour and a half you know so I hate doing that now um oh that water is good I hate doing that now so I tend to just eat after my my shifts I know it's kind of sucks when I eat rice and then it's already late, but hey man, I don't really care anymore. I gotta eat my rice. <laughs> but other than that, um, you know, I just eat bread before I go to sleep or something. But yeah, man, I don't really spend a lot of money here. But when I go home, bro, it's a whole different story. You know, it's a lot more fun doing it with somebody. Eating out with somebody, um, you appreciate it more, you know? Oh, this car is kind of scaring me, man. It was kind of going my lane, so I have to <laughs> pay attention real quick. But yeah, like I was saying, like it's more fun doing it with somebody that you know, somebody that you act like you love, whatever your friends or whatever you know but when you're alone out here man nobody even cares about you so it's like bruh you might as well just save up don't waste your paychecks put all your paychecks and your like investments or something you know hint, hint. i always talk about this i hope you guys are doing um investing your money man because when you start young better to start a little bit older you're losing a lot you know but I'm not gonna talk about that right now just invest your money man um, it pays a long way uh, I'm actually taking an exit here because uh, I need to go to TA we got a situation going on um, my right headlight stopped working so I don't have a, a right headlight right now and uh, it's about to be dark time. So I called in my boss already about it and um, he told me to get it fixed right now because you know, <laughs> we don't wanna take no chances. So I'm already here at TA. See if I can, um, if I could just take out the bulb, buy the new one and then, uh, and uh, replace it myself because I am not waiting at the shop just for a light bulb. But I'm gonna see if uh, if I could even take it out. So we'll see. <clears throat> I hope they have the uh, the part as well, though. I'm hoping. They also have a speed coat here. Not loves. Speedco's loves. Huh. 
Maybe they just have a speed code shop here. But I don't see loves. I just see TA. But we're just gonna go with TA. They have more chance of getting the part, you know. You gotta wait, Mazda. Thank you. See, they got Speedco, but there's no love. It's just the shop. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. Hey, this guy, dude. You really gonna make me wait? He's rolling, bro, because uh, he doesn't want to start his time. Man, a lot of truck truckers does that in truck stop. It's so annoying. Like, nobody's waiting. Oh. He's got to find a spot where we could park. Hold on, Swift. I feel like I'm on the way. It's like awkward. So, we're gonna have to move. This is too awkward for me. I don't like it. block these guys hopefully they don't like leave or anything because uh i just really need to check my headlight hey guys checking in again um i left ta because um i pulled over and then i check out my headlight i'll show you guys a picture um it's not technically a bulb <laughs> It's a, like a whole assembly and um, I was gonna, well initially I wanted to wait you know until when their next available spot but there is no parking spot on that TA so I had to bail and I have to uh, find myself a, a parking spot because um, it's getting dark and um, I don't want to drive this thing without a right headlight you know so my plan right now is just get to the nearest <laughs> I'm gonna try this quick trip uh, hopefully they got a parking spot here but if not I'm gonna have to go to a rest area which is about 30 miles it is kind of sketch um, not gonna lie but I'm just hoping that uh, I don't get in trouble you know going to this uh, just trying to find me a parking spot so I can shut it down but we'll see what happens we're like two miles on this quick trip <laughs> nothing is uh it's not going going well right now so I mean it's just a headlight it is what it is um 
I wanted to get to my delivery by tonight, but it's not gonna happen because of this situation. I'm just gonna have to wake up uh, at 6 a.m. tomorrow and then uh, try to deliver around eight o'clock because I'm still like 200 miles away. So it's about three hours. Exit here. Catching up, bro. I gotta park this thing now. <laughs> oh man, I'm hoping there's parking here. Cause if not, um, I'm kind of screwed. Because I would have to drive this thing with one headlight. I mean, I've seen trucks with like one headlight, but I always think of myself, man. You know, how could those guys drive it like that? That's so sketch. I might have to drive it with high beams on. I know it's gonna piss off a lot of people, but I'm really not trying to get in trouble here. Definitely just park like right here. We're gonna do that. Ah, uh, we can't. Feel sketch. <laughs> when your boy feels sketch, ain't good. So. We're gonna park right there in the middle of those two. trailer inside watch that truck alright we gotta redo it not redo it, but you know, we're in position already. It's not gonna be hard anymore. Cause the tractor is still outside. Yeah, catch early. Right there. me now we're inside that's how you parallel boys I feel like paralleling park parallel park on semi is a lot easier than a regular car well I mean <laughs> I'm saying you know a regular car is easier but um, it's not as hard to parallel a, a semi. I definitely want to give him a little space just in case he needs to get out. That's fine. Because I don't know how much space he has on the back. So. <sighs> on duty, post trip. So yeah, you guys, I think I'm gonna just catch you guys tomorrow. 
Uh, to mo today definitely did not, um, I did not expect this to happen at all. But um, it is what it is, you know. Um, so, you know, good things, bad things. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys this as an example. This is a minor breakdown, you know, like a headlight. But, you know, when things goes down with like, uh, with your air system, your engine, it happens, bro. Like, and then it's more, it's a lot more stressful because you cannot move, you know, like sometimes you'll be on the side of the road. Uh, you don't know where you're at. And then um, you don't even know how you're going to get help. And <laughs> bro, like it just adds up. So this is definitely just a small breakdown. Nothing to panic about. It's just that I can't drive at night. Um, it's already getting dark it, on the video. It's probably not even gonna look like it's getting dark um, I know I've noticed that uh, every time it's sunset. It actually looks bright on the GoPro, but um, in reality, it's getting dark um, It's almost uh, eight o'clock here. So yeah, um, I'm sorry you guys I know this is gonna be my first video after a very long 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 break I'm gonna say many many times uh and i apologize once again um you know i'm not ending this video right now i'm just you know summarizing uh everything i know it's not a lot uh, i know it's just a pickup and drop but um you know i just wanted to say that i'm still here still trucking and uh <laughs> i guess i just trying to get back on the on the grind again on the and on, on the youtube t uh, st uh stuff again you know for you guys so I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. All right, good morning, you guys. It is now the delivery date, uh, and um, we are 40 miles out. And um, I had to drive a little bit in the dark side in the morning uh, because I was not gonna make it there on time if I didn't. So you know, your boy took a chance riding it with one headlight. And guess what, man? <laughs> I was gonna turn on the GoPro a lot earlier, but it was way too dark, you know? You guys wouldn't even see. Right now, it's kind of getting uh, a little bit brighter. And uh, I, before I got to the Georgia border, or state line, I mean, <laughs> um, I got pulled into a way station. So I was like, okay, this is it, you know? It's a wrap. I'm gonna get a ticket, or I'm gonna get shut down out of service because my headlight's not working. No question asked, you know. I already accepted my my fate right there. And for some reason, I got bypassed. Like, there's some way station where uh, you get pulled in, but then there's like, sometimes they have a lane for uh, bypass. So basically, even if they pulled you in, they told you to, uh, you know, stop the way station. Sometimes they just tell you to go, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, you don't need a scale or whatever. So your boy was so scared, man. I was, dude, my heart was pumping so hard. I was like, yo, no, I should not have risk in it, you know? I should have taken the risk of uh, driving. And just wait it out until it's a lot brighter, like right now. Right now it's perfectly fine. I don't need my headlights anymore. That's for sure. Uh, but earlier, man, it was dark. And worst part is, it was raining so you know it was dark and it was raining so you know number one rule in trucking when it's raining you gotta turn your headlights on raining or snowing you gotta have your headlights on but that's the story in the morning bro <laughs> uh, it was already starting like i thought you know it was gonna be another crazy day because if you're out of service man you cannot move the truck and not until you fix the issue. I have to get roadside, tell my boss, he's probably gonna be unhappy about it. But, but we good though. 36 miles out to our delivery here. Uh, ETA would be eight o'clock, 8.12, so eight o'clock. Headlights on. <laughs> At least I got my, uh, what do you call these? The, the amber lights all over the truck, so. I think that should be okay. I should, they shouldn't be tripping too much. But I need to get my headlight fixed today. You know, at the end of the day today, I gotta go to the shop because I ain't trying to get in trouble. Oh, this 
this is only right. I thought it was a, you know, those two lane left lane. But it's going to love here. is our building delivery so uh, the name of it Georgia Pacific okay that's easy to remember I think I'm making a right on this slide yeah I'm making a right here remember this entrance well everybody this is Ken's actually you know what we're gonna keep going I remember the entrance being like that but I think it's more over here This sucks guys when um when the address is not popping up on your phone is not popping up on truck GPS you kinda have to just like you know look around and look for the address Is it this one? No, this is line H. Line H. in the street I mean we can always go around look for it but uh I have to just put it on I don't know Google or something 
what I need to do. Google always have the answers. You've got all the answers for your problems. <laughs> Alright, let's check this out. Oh, there you go, I found it. So my GP, my truck GPS is kind of right. Um, it's telling me it's more over there, but it's over here. But it's very close, you know. That's not too bad. Old truck, shipping and receiving on the right. Okie dokie. Alu okie. <laughs> How does that go again? Okie dokie. Something. There's a guy on the. I don't know if it was TikTok, but it was funny, man. We're gonna check in. We're gonna check in. Is there a door? Or a shipping receiving. There's an office here. All right, we're gonna park here. A walk of a deer. Alright. Looks peaceful here for sure. Alright guys, let's go. Let's go check in. Oh. It's like still sprinkling right now. But good thing it's not, you know, raining too hard. Oh, that was so nice to walk in the morning. I should start doing that, you know, before driving or something. <laughs> Body is so out of shape, man. All driving. Got a delivery? This door? Oh, okay, thank you. No, it's just uh, no one, no one's there. Paper rules? Yeah. You all right, Jay? You all right, Jay? You all right, Jay? Oh yeah, man. How about you, man? <laughs> Come on, Paula. Oh, you're 10 minutes back. 10 minutes back. Yo, cool. Keep that uh, to the end. Till the end. Yo, cool, thank you. And then give, give them a second because they got they got one in 19, then they're going to get to you. Okay. Uh, 18, right? 13. 13. Okay. Thank you. 13. <laughs> I don't know how I got 18, bro. Not paying attention. 13, 13, 13. Put that in your head. <laughs> 13. Sometimes I'm always like scared they tell me the door number and all of a sudden i forget that would suck bro i was just <sighs> 13 is right there no one's next to me for sure um damn boy <laughs> Dude, it's wild in. Oh, somebody cut him off. Boss said slider tandems. Yeah, open our doors right now. Oof. 
Yeah, good, bro. This actually fell off already, but uh, I tried to fix it with just zip tie. Um, but man, it's not good, bro. Might have to go to uh, the shop and get that fixed as well. So we got headlight, license plate, and uh, I don't know if it's not gonna get fixed. I feel like there's another one. Like, you should write it down. Alright. Yo, 13's kind of weird. It's like in the middle of a barricade. for this trailer. do it it's just uh <laughs> i have to be really close to the uh the thing but the trailer over here is really making it kind of hard all right boys part two Got it, boys. 90 is always the the answer to everything. You know what I'm saying?
good thing you guys seen that because uh <laughs> i feel like it's been a while since i made a backing video and um lately it's kind of just been straight back every time i or like before it was just kind of like uh a lot of it is just straight back you know sometimes it's kind of fun just doing a little bit complicated back especially uh doing a 90s all right we got a slider tandems let me just uh straight in the trailer boys so, I don't know if they want me to chalk my wheels they didn't tell me to so I'm not gonna do it um all right um I guess they don't need the BOL because the guy just told me to uh, hold on to it um just like that you guys I don't really know how they're gonna count the you know the shipment but i guess they already know and stuff um but that's about it you guys I, this load is completely delivered now well not completely but you know we're already at the end of the the delivery here so once again thank you guys so much for everything i know you guys always check up on me and um i appreciate it you know even some of you guys thought i was dead uh, <laughs> i'm not dead so um yeah you guys uh thank you again and uh, if you guys made it this far uh don't forget to like comment subscribe as always and i'll see you guys on my next video peace